What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel, Pete's Carport. Sorry I'm not gonna be looking at the actual camera because I'm driving out to check out a very unique vehicle that I wanna get for my wife. Her birthday's tomorrow, our anniversary was yesterday, and I found this really cool car, kinda of gave her a hint, showed her a photo of it, and she was in love. The car is extremely affordable, it is a replica, but I think you guys are really going to like this because it is a Mercedes. So stay tuned. I'm going to be pulling up to it shortly. I'm going to film as much as I can. I don't know if the uh, gentleman is going to let me film, but I highly doubt he's going to say no since I'm looking at the car. So stay tuned, guys. Here we go. No, I, I completely understand. If it was, if I Yeah. The paint looks really good on it. That I, that was what I was concerned about. You know, sometimes they throw a cheap paint job when they do replicas. People get bo I get to the end and they're like, "All right, guys, so here she is." And I already bought it. I got both. And she's off to go back to the house. All right, when we get back there, I'll show you guys uh, a little bit around it, some of the things that I just found out that I know about the car, and then we'll start doing some things to her. Stay tuned, I'm gonna jump in my car and meet these guys back at the house. So I got back to the house and it couldn't be any more perfect. Basically, it, we didn't have a top for this uh, convertible, and somehow we avoided all the rain, and a storm came through probably about 10 minutes ago and kind of overpassed us. And if you look up, you can see it. It's going that, that direction there. And so um, really cool. Basically, um, on the entire way back, I was watching the clouds kind of like move out of the way and I think the tow truck was pretty much right behind me when we were getting on the highway, it was getting on the highway with me, so I probably beat it by just a couple of minutes, so kind of excited. Also, my wife had to go take her grandma to the doctor, so couldn't be more perfect timing. I'm gonna get the car here, which should be here like any minute, and then I'll be able to unload it, wipe it down, get it out of the rain, and she should be coming home in a couple of hours, and I hope to get her reaction um, I might not put her on film just because uh, I don't want to do that to her, but I can at least get some sort of reaction, even if it's just a sound, because I know she's going to love this car and get excited. So stay tuned, guys. The car should be pulling up any minute. I'm going to film it pulling in. All right, so it literally pulled up about two minutes after I stopped filming that little clip, and uh, now I'm just guiding them in. So we're going to get to see this car basically get unloaded. I'm going to do a quick walkthrough of the car, the little bit that I know about it, and then um, we'll try to get at least uh, some sort of reaction out of my wife when she comes out to check it out or when she pulls up. All right, guys, so I got it pulled in. It's a 1929 Mercedes SSK replica. And from what I've seen on this car, now I'm just jumped on it and purchased it because I'm gonna let you guys know right now, I got it for 2,500 bucks. It runs and it actually has AC. So this is a 1929 Mercedes SSK replica with a Chevy motor. Now I think it's actually from a Cavalier because the title reads, I think 1984 or 87. I'd have to go look back at it uh, as the registered vehicle. Now, this is really cool. It's got these class here 
that you basically just pull up and open up the engine bay. Let me go ahead and grab that little uh, hanger. So it's got a little prop to hold up the motor, just like the original. Now under the hood is this four-cylinder Chevy. I don't know a whole lot about it. The gentleman who sold it basically was selling it for one of his clients that uh, the story was he used it uh, for shows, did a couple parades, it sat in the garage. The wife said, I want that out of here, get rid of it. So he brought it up to him and said, can I put this up front and sell it? Um, and I'm guessing he threw him some money. And so the mechanic said, uh, I'll just sell it as is, or if you want, I can put it on the lift and take a look at it, get it all working. He listed it, I got a hold of him right away, and I bought it as is, so the mechanic didn't know anything about it, so we were kind of figuring things out as we went. So we found that it's leaking from the gas tank. He, uh, only thing that he did was take the fuel filter off because it was clogged, put a new fuel filter in, and it started right up. So it starts right now, um, and I will start it up for you guys to let you see that. Also, it has AC that blows. We're not sure if it gets cold because um, we didn't run it long enough to see, but it might just need a charge or something like that, but it is a more modern style AC from what I understand, and it blows really hard. So you've got your knobs there. Uh, all these cool gauges here, it's got a really old school tape deck in there that I'm guessing was put in when the replica was made in the 80s, which is really cool. The seats are in great shape. They were, uh, it was garage kept in Florida, but it does have a small tear there. And I think there's a couple wear marks elsewhere, but it's got a back seat. Now, all the awesome part about what I just found out just a second ago was uh, I was told there was no top. So I was mentioning earlier the tow truck arrived just after it uh, was pouring heavily over here. So we got very lucky. So I did not open this when I was looking at it. And like I said, this is being sold by the mechanic that knew very little about it. He was just helping the guy out and basically uh, was giving him a place to sell it out of as a compared to having to meet people at his house. And there's a top in there. So how awesome is that? Because I literally thought we we're going to have to buy a top for this. I have not taken that out, so I'm hoping it doesn't have any tears or rips. But the car is very, very solid. Um, I got up underneath it. It has, uh, I can probably get some of it here. It's basically got like an undercoating spray all throughout it. I didn't see any oil leaks, any transmission leaks. The transmission and oil were absolutely as clean as can be. And he said that he got it maintained regularly. I uh, just wanted to keep it in good shape and then it just never got used. So I'm going to be doing a lot more videos on this as I find what needs to be done. But I only have an hour or so before my wife gets back. And I want to clean it up. I want to get a bow on it. Um, you guys probably heard a second ago my daughter freaked out when she saw it. And so that's awesome because they have very similar tastes. So I know my wife's going to flip when she sees this car. Also, the rims, replicas of course, but they are so cool and they're super clean. The tires are basically brand new. I mean, it looks like it was never driven on. And I'm guessing there's no mileage at all on this car just because it was barely, barely driven. The engine might have had mileage on it when it was first uh, purchased because they probably dropped um, an older motor in, but my guess is they rebuilt it. So we're gonna find out some things as we go. Let me go ahead and start it up quick so you guys can check that out. Give me a second here. As you guys can see, it starts right up. It's idling pretty good right now, but like I said, there is a leak in the gas tank and it might be a hose that's leaking. The mechanic did not do anything to it, so he wasn't able to give me a whole bunch of information, but he was very honest up front that he was not sure of any of the other things that were wrong with it, except for what he could see with his eyes. And really there wasn't a whole lot to talk about. I made the offer. He was asking 3,500 because he needed to get rid of it. And I said, I can give you 2,500 right now. He took a second, called the guy and he accepted. So let me know what you guys think in the comments too. Was it a steal? Am I gonna have issues? What you know about the motor just from first glance? Um, I think it's from a Cavalier just because that makes sense to me. But let's go ahead and get this thing cleaned up, put a bow on it, and let's see the reaction of my wife. Oh my goodness. Oh. Happy anniversary. <laughs> go look at it, you're gonna love it. 
It's just beautiful. I love what I did. Holy cow. Oh my God, I am in love. This is amazing. It's just beautiful. There is no other way to say this. It's just gorgeous. Hold on. They told me there was no top, so we got we had to rush it here on a tow truck, and there's a top in the trunk, because never, we never opened this. Look how nice that is. Hold on, look at this. Wait to see this. Go ahead and open up that clasp, like I just did, and, and then we'll lift. And then you have a little rod right there to hold open the motor. That's so cute. Mommy, you can put Luna in the back here. This is amazing. Hold on, we got you a key too, so let me go get that. Okay, All right, guys, so she loved it. What did you think about the car, babe? It's just gorgeous. Yeah, the she was. The most beautiful car I've ever seen. So we backed it into the uh, carport area of our garage. We want to uh, go ahead and order a cover for it. It's rain season here in Florida. And so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to clean the leather up, even though it's pretty clean. I want to get some moisture uh, stuff on there and get it nice and soft, make sure we protect it. And uh, we got to figure out there is that gas leak and the brakes need to be done. Outside of that, I just took it around the block and she drives straight, real easy to turn. It's going to be a fun car. Um, the engine actually doesn't have bad pickup considering um, it's a very small engine. So because it's a semi-modern engine. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Do you like the car? Did you like the reaction of my wife? I was super happy. She just exploded with joy and I'm glad that I was able to get this for her and I got an awesome deal on it uh, and now she'll have a car that she can take to the store and have fun with outside of her normal daily driver. Have a great day guys. My name's Pete. This is Pete's Car For. I hope you guys enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed doing this.